This morning, the First Lady visiting Wisconsin for the first time since the campaign. What her message will be. And we're taking a moment to talk about rain, what we've seen and what's to come in that first sworn forecast. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Josh Breider. Leah Lindscheid will return later this month. First Lady Jill Biden will travel to both Wisconsin and Iowa today. The First Lady's trip will highlight the importance of keeping kids safe during in-person learning. This morning, our Taylor Lazenby in studio with more on the visit. Good morning, Taylor. Hi, guys. Good morning. That's right. First Lady Jill Biden has a busy day today where she plans to cover a lot of ground in just a short period of time. She'll start off this morning at 10 a.m. as the First Lady will land at the General Mitchell International Airport in Milwaukee, followed by a visit to the Marvin E. Pratt Elementary School, where she will focus on the importance of keeping kids safe as they transition to in-person learning. That is back to the airport for her as First Lady Biden travels to Des Moines, Iowa. Now, while in Iowa, she will be scheduled there to speak at an area community college and highlight how the Biden administration is supporting families through the American Rescue Plan. Taylor, thank you. Now to some breaking news overnight. Dane County Sheriff's deputies are investigating an armed robbery at a gas station in Mazomani. Just after 8 o'clock last night, a man entered the mobile gas station with a knife demanding money from the clerk. The suspect then ran from the scene with an undisclosed amount of cash. The suspect is about 5 foot 2 inches tall and wearing a red bandana over his face at the time. This is still an active investigation, so if you know anything about the case, you can contact the Dane County Sheriff's tip line at number 608 208 284 6900. We'll be following this story throughout the morning, so you can always download our Channel 3000 mobile app for the latest breaking information. All right, let's check in with Chris Reese, the Madison Certified Most Accurate Forecast, talking about the rain deficit still? Didn't we just get a soaker? We've been in a deficit pretty much all year long. That's the thing. And we are still in our deficit without the rain yesterday. We've actually seen our deficit increase after our soaker that we had on Monday. But we do have more rain on the way. And that's one thing that I want to break down for you, especially as it's Wednesday. Maybe you're making those wet, uh, weekend plans as we move towards this point. For now, high pressure is in control. You actually have a front that's moving by towards the south. It's this area of low pressure, though. That's what's ultimately going to lead to our next chance of rain. So we've put things into motion. High pressure slides to our east. We're going to start to see our winds turn out of the south. And with that, we start to tap into some of that moisture that's down around the Gulf of Mexico. We're going to stream that northward towards the upper Midwest. Thursday morning, your cold front back towards the west starts to unzip some of that. That's what's going to take us into Friday. So Friday, we're going to wake up. Things are going to be dry. We'll see a couple of showers, though, throughout the north woods and parts of southern Minnesota as we move into early Friday morning. But by Friday afternoon, we could see some showers and thunderstorms developing right on top of us, especially as we start to move towards Friday night. And then eventually, we'll clear things out as we move into early Saturday. Now, that being said, yes, we have a nearly 11 inch deficit. We're not talking a ton of rain out of this one, perhaps a quarter up to half an inch in some spots, but most of us are going to be in that tenth to quarter inch rain when it actually comes to how much rainfall we get from that cold front on Friday, but it's really all about timing because high school football is Friday night, and this might be another weekend where you need the umbrella, and we have to watch to see if we see any uh, lightning strikes as well. So we're watching the cold front, ready up that rain gear now. I'm not expecting a washout, but we could see some lightning strikes as we move towards Friday night. Temperatures, though, they'll likely be into the 70s and 60s as you go throughout the game. Headed out the door right now, we're at 52 degrees. That sun is starting to come up for us. 49 in Watertown, same for Lone Rock at this point. Really, several spots are into the 40s. I watched Black River Falls all morning. They're at 41 now. They never dipped into the 30s, but they did get down to 40. 54 for our friends at Janesville this morning. 50s in Platteville as well. Doppler track is dry. Here's what happens as we go throughout the rest of today. We'll be at 75 by the time we get you towards the afternoon. This is when that area of high pressure is going to be right on top of us, but it slides eastward overnight. Our winds turn out of the south. We are at 52 for tomorrow morning's low. Then by tomorrow afternoon, check it out, 80 degrees, strong southerly winds stay in play, and then eventually you'll start to see those clouds associated with those chances for showers as we start to move into Friday. We'll clear out behind that. More rain chances as we start to move towards the midpoint of next week, and that front ushers in the true fall equinox. So 
Fall is coming in. Temperatures will be into the 70s, but perhaps we're talking multiple rain chances. I'm looking at that 6 to 10 day outlook, and we're going to share that coming up in just a bit. All right, looking forward to it. Thank you, Chris. Dane County putting more than half a billion dollars worth of federal funding into improving air quality in county buildings. It's a strategy that may catch on in other spaces as well. Dane County's investment includes ultraviolet air purification as it updates ventilation in 20 buildings. During the pandemic, HVAC company Harker Heating and Cooling says they've noticed an uptick in interest from businesses looking to improve air quality as another layer of protection. So if we can be in a confined space and knock those particulate counts down by flushing it with air and ventilating, getting that air out, we're at much better risk management than we are if we're just sitting inside a balloon. Harker says there are affordable options to improving air quality, such as better filters. Nursing homes in Wisconsin are once again experiencing a surge in COVID infections this morning. The latest federal data shows 55 residents tested positive at the end of August. That's the highest weekly total since January. It's a sign industry leaders say could impact who's allowed to visit their loved ones. With nearly 90% of nursing home residents in Wisconsin fully vaccinated, advocates say new infections are primarily breakthrough cases with residents experiencing mild symptoms. The vaccine is the most effective, uh, appropriate way to reduce hospitalizations and deaths. One challenge for nursing homes is some employees are resisting the COVID vaccine. Right now, 62% of staff at these facilities have received the shot. Wisconsin election clerks are feeling concerned and confused this morning after their first inquiry into the 2020 election investigation. According to a poll by the Associated Press of the 72 clerks here in Wisconsin, at least seven counties received the email as spam. Ten counties claim they never received the email at all. The email called for the preservation of all records and evidence from the election. It also calls on those 72 county clerks to disperse the emails of the 1,800 municipal workers who run elections here in Wisconsin, in which some counties are saying they will not do. New information this morning as federal authorities are now giving an upcoming rally to support the January 6th insurrection a new special security rating. The Department of Homeland Security official says that the move unlocks more coordination on the federal level. Homeland Security is expecting around 700 people to attend the rally in Washington, D.C. on September 18th. They say several groups with differing views could be in attendance and that kind of event is, quote, usually more of a recipe for violence. The Justice Department tackling police reform within its own organization. The DOJ released a memo this week announcing several reform measures for its federal law enforcement officers. They include prohibiting the use of chokeholds unless deadly force is authorized. It also limits the use of no-knock entries. The DOJ says it has re-examined the use of such techniques, quote, in the wake of a number of recent tragedies. Continuing coverage now for former Minneapolis police officers are pleading not guilty to charges stemming from the George Floyd case. Derek Chauvin, Tutau, J. Alexander Kang, and Thomas Lane were arraigned on federal civil rights charges yesterday. Chauvin, who is already serving 22 and a half years for the murder of Floyd, is now facing charges for depriving Floyd of the right to be free from unreasonable seizure and unreasonable force by a police officer. Tao and Kang are accused of failing to intervene in the case. All four ex-officers are also charged with failing to give Floyd medical aid. Federal trial dates have not been set. The Justice Department has announced a Florida woman has pleaded guilty for threatening to kill Vice President Kamala Harris. 39-year-old Navain Petit Phillips admitted to sending her husband, who is in prison, a video of herself making threats to kill Harris in February. According to the DOJ, Phelps claimed that she had accepted $53,000 to carry out the hit within 50 days. Prosecutors said two days later she applied for a concealed weapon permit. Phelps faces up to five years in federal prison. She's scheduled for a sentencing on November 19th. We're learning more about North and South Korea testing ballistic missiles, ratcheting up tensions in what was already a volatile region. Just two days after claiming the successful launch of its long-range cruise missiles, missiles rather, South Korea is reporting that North Korea has fired an unidentified projectile off its east coast today. Japan's prime minister called the launch outrageous and a violation of the UN security resolution. But hours after North Korea missile, South Korea tested a new submarine launched ballistic missile. 609 now coming up, the end of an era for a Milwaukee Brewer. We'll uh, recap some of his notable accomplishments. Plus the latest on Tropical Storm Nicholas and how the South is being impacted.
Let the design team at Wanaki Furniture ETC help you find your inspiration and transform your room. Every style, every budget, our creativity, passion, and expertise will help you design your dream space. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. At Pick and Save, we know that the slower a banana ripens, the longer it stays fresh. So we keep things fresher than fresh by ripening them slowly. Bananas Everything is relative. Travel, for example. A trip to Stoughton might seem like a long way, but if you're shopping for diamonds, it's closer than you think. Diamond Select. Importers of shimmering diamonds from the mines of South Africa to the streets of Antwerp and Tel Aviv. They shop the diamond capitals of the world so you don't have to. Diamond Select. Direct pricing saves you money. The GIA certified South African diamonds. Diamond Select. Downtown Stoughton. Steinhoffel's Labor Day sale has been extended. There's still time to get great deals on the largest selection of in-stock furniture and mattresses. Take 35 to 50% off store-wide and get great bonus buys, like a Queen Beautyrest mattress, just $349. This sofa, only $649. A Queen bed, $699. A five-piece dining set, now $799. Only at Steinhoffel's or Steinhoffel's.com. Goldman Cars is selling new body style 2018 Chevy Equinoxes starting only $14,995 or $235 per month. That's right. Goldman Cars is having a huge sale on 2018 Chevy Equinoxes, very well equipped, starting at $14,995 or $235 per month. So hurry today and just ask for my daughter, Crystal the Pistol Goldman. For my dad, Don the Dealman Goldman. Go to Goldman Cars East or West with over 500 vehicles to choose from. You gotta go to Goldman. GoldmanCars.com. Madison Magazine's Fall Restaurant Week 2021 is here. Participating restaurants will provide a three-course lunch starting at $15 and a three-course dinner starting at $25, featuring wine and more. Don't miss Madison Magazine's Fall Restaurant Week 2021, starting September 19th through the 24th. For participating restaurant menus and details, visit madisonrestaurantweek.com. Presenting sponsor, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund. Supporting sponsor, Ian J. Gallo Winery. How do we make sure pick and save food is fresh? We put sensors on our coolers, and if something changes, we drop whatever we're doing to take care of it. That way, we can make sure pick and save food isn't just fresh, it's fresher than fresh. Rest comfortably with brands you can trust at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Create a unique and stylish room with made-in-the-USA products from companies like Smith Brothers of Burn. Select from a wide variety of sofas at a great price. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for Overall Excellence in Television. We are now just two days in and you've already donated over 100 coats in this year's Coats for Kids Clothing Drive. We are collecting new and gently used winter gear at all clinky cleaner locations through the middle of October and they're going to clean them for free. They'll then be available through the Community Action Coalition and we hope to be able to donate 6,000 coats this year. So keep those donations coming. Long way to go. All right, after almost 15 seasons with the Brewers, Ryan Braun is hanging them up. Ryan Braun played his entire career in Milwaukee. He was the 2007 NL Rookie of the Year. He was the Brewers. He is the Brewers' all-time home run leader, as well as a leader in almost every offensive category for the franchise. He's a five-time Silver Slugger and took home the NL MVP in 2011. His legacy, though, tarnished by a 65-game suspension for using performance-enhancing drugs during his MVP season. Brown will be honored by the team during the last regular season game on September 26th. The Brewers returned to play last night after having Monday off. The team went through a rain delay that lasted almost two hours in Detroit. Once play resumed, neither team would score until the Tigers walked it off in the bottom of the 11th. With a 13.5 game lead in the division, the magic number for the team remains at five. Brewers get another shot at the Tigers today at noon. Summerfest is almost over, and there's a new artist opening up for Miley Cyrus for her show on Friday night. Rapper Wiz Khalifa is going to open up for Miley now. Her original opener was the kid Leroy. Festival organizers did not say why he canceled his appearance. That show is still set to happen on the amphitheater stage Friday night with the festival wrapping up on Saturday. 
This morning, we're seeing some of the damage left behind by Tropical Storm Nicholas. It has weakened to a tropical depression this morning, but still drenching Louisiana with rain, including communities still struggling to recover from Hurricane Ida just two weeks ago. Flash flood watches are in effect for more than 6 million people from so extreme southeast Texas to the western part of the Florida Panhandle. Meteorologist Chris Reese is here now taking a look at Doppler track this morning, and that is a lot of rain for an area that just doesn't need it, Chris. And it keeps coming, Josh. It's not ending anytime soon, but we're watching a lot of these heavier rain bands now start to work their way east of New Orleans. We still have some coming in from the south, though, but you actually zoom in on New Orleans, and you see a lot of that heaviest rain is now north and east, now moving out of Slidell towards Bay St. Louis as well, and we're going to continue to track some of this heavier rain up towards Hattiesburg and Biloxi, and this is going to start to impact that Gulf Shore in Mississippi as well, but we've been watching what's left of Nicholas and it's simply going to sit and spin and lead to even more rainfall as we go through these next couple of days. But there is one positive twist for the eastern part of the country and that is the fact that this tropical moisture leads to the expectation that we'll be wetter than normal as we go through the next six to 10 days. That includes us right here in the upper Midwest where we are still in a moderate to severe drought and a lot of spots. Now as we expand that as we go through the next two weeks, we're still looking wetter than normal over the eastern part of the country, but as you get towards Wisconsin, we begin to have a little bit more of an equal chance of us being wetter than normal or drier than normal. That's a lot more likely as you work your way closer to the Rockies. So we're watching our rain chances. We, of course, have our rain chances, and we're also watching traffic for you all this morning. Here's how things are shaping up on the Beltline and in Madison proper right now. We're not seeing any issues. Dane County is smooth too. And of course, I'm always watching inbound from Portage or inbound from Janesville, and you're not expected to have any issues as of now. Of course, we're going to watch that and let you know if that changes. There's plenty of construction that is ongoing, but for now, there are no issues. Hopefully, we keep it that way. We're going to have your bus stop forecast coming up. Looking forward to it. Thank you, Chris. 616 in England this morning. Some vital repairs are going on to fix cracks and holes at Stonehenge. It's one of the biggest conservation projects at the site in decades. The stones date back 4,500 years. And they are dealing with some problems right now caused by erosion as well as uh, some previous repairs. They are not holding up, so they're going to fix those. Uh, they're going to stop those previous repairs from uh, the cracks in the previous uh, repairs from expanding. And they're going to replace some concrete mortar that was used for those repairs in the 50s and 60s. Happening today, four space tourists are set to make history for the first time. A group of non-professional astronauts will launch into space as part of SpaceX's Inspiration4 mission. It's the first orbital mission in the history of the space flight to be staffed entirely of non-astronauts. The crew features a billionaire, a cancer survivor, a geologist, and a raffle winner. They will spend three days free flying through Earth's orbit. Their mission scheduled to launch from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, barring any weather issues. On commercial flights, the Federal Aviation Administration is dealing with a surge of unruly passengers. The FAA has opened up more than 750 investigations so far in 2021. That's about four times the amount federal officials have on an annual basis. Airline crews have reported nearly 4,300 incidents this year. Most of them involved mass mandates. Apple is releasing a number of new devices, including a new iPad, an Apple Watch, but the most anticipated item is the new iPhone. Apple CEO Tim Cook used a virtual event to show off the new iPhone 13. There are no major changes, but the 5G device offers a faster processor and longer battery life. There's also an updated camera that records video in cinematic mode, and the company says pictures are even sharper. How big are iPhone sales for the company? The iPhone is still Apple's most important product, right? It, it represents about half of the company's revenue. CNET's Ian Scher says the camera has be become a huge selling point for all smartphone companies. Apple's main competitor in smartphone sales is Samsung. Last month, that company revealed its latest version of the Galaxy phone that unfolds into a larger device. New census data shows the pandemic caused poverty to go up in 2022. Last year, about 11% of Americans were living in poverty. In 2019, it was about 10.5%, the lowest level since record keeping began in 1959. 3.3 million additional people fell below the poverty line last year for a total of roughly 37.2 million. 
Amazon is hoping to hire more than 120,000 employees. That uh, The jobs are in the retailer's fulfillment and transportation operations in more than a dozen states. Both full and part-time jobs are available. They pay more than $18 per hour on average. Warehouse labor is in short supply, so employers have had to raise wages to attract workers. A report from U.S. News & World Report ranking some Wisconsin schools as the best public universities in the Midwest. Check out the list here. UW-La Crosse, Eau Claire, Whitewater, Stevens Point, and Stout all make the top 15. A lot of factors go into the rankings like graduation rates and financial resources. The top three, Truman State in Missouri, University of Northern Iowa, and Grand Valley State University in Michigan. UWSB. You know it. <laughs> Proud alum right here. Uh, it is, uh, it's a pretty great system we have here in Wisconsin for it's, universities, if yeah. I say so. Good to see a lot of them on that list. It's pretty cool I know, to see. and a lot of uh, affordable for uh, sure. options uh, as well. All across Wisconsin. All right, coming up, guys, 620 on the nose, the latest on the search for the next police chief in Fitchburg. And coming up next, we're going to take a look at what this bison is made out of. Stay with us. Cobison Buses, now hiring. After we backed that bus out of its stall and started driving, I just loved it. We really get a chance to get to know each other. Almost everyone has a different story about how they came to bus driving. So you really end up feeling like you're part of a family. Visit cobison.com to apply. No one has ever reinvented mattress shopping until now. The grand opening of Slumberland Sleep Solutions, where we've simplified, uncomplicated, and laid things out for you. Start with a quick rest match to pick your basic mattress type. You love memory foam. I really do. Then shop the information and rating system on each bed. Did you know you can get great back support with a soft feel? It's true and easy to find. Mattress shopping reinvented only at Slumberland Furniture. Hi, I'm Rebecca from 90 Day Fiance. And this was my stubborn body fat that I just couldn't get rid of. But then I went to Sonabello and they permanently removed my body fat in just one visit. It is so intensely gratifying for one visit to make this big of a change. It's amazing. Bellows board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells permanently on your stomach, hips and thighs, back, and so much more. It feels incredible to look down and it's flat. Thank you again, Sonobello. I'm so happy. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-800-595-1532 or go to Sonobello.com. Finding the right ingredients for a healthy lifestyle can be tricky. That's why SSM Health and News 3 Now are here to help. Our Time for Kids recipe for health experts use online conversations and on-air reports to answer your health questions. So tell us, what topics would your family like to hear about? What questions do you have? Use the handy feedback form on our Time for Kids page to share what matters most to your family's health. And together, let's take Time for Kids. Is your credit score getting in the way of the things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit offer fast and flexible lending. Borrow up to $10,000 and choose repayment terms that work for you. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. Good morning. Good morning. Get a sausage biscuit or a sausage McMuffin paired with hash browns. Each bundle just $2. Cobison Buses, now hiring. Working with Cobison, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. If you do need time off, they work around you. They, they definitely try to make it a company that's based for you. Visit cobison.com to apply. All right, Kevin Charles Grunberg sharing his morning with us of some cows in the fog. Great picture. Kevin knows if you have any animals in your picture, we'll show it. And unfortunately, Lee is not here to admire it I this know. morning. Oh, buddy! Oh, <laughs> buddy! <laughs> Hopefully, she's uh, sleeping, preparing for this weekend. I liked how she said, "I'm gonna have a couple of days of relaxation before Saturday." No, right. you're not. Uh, <laughs> no, you're not. You know, 
I'm I was thinking guess. to myself, she was probably up anyway, getting ready for the wedding and seeing this right now. Oh, she probably is. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say if she's up, she's not watching. Probably not. I don't think I would we, be. But. Leah, Leah, if you're up and watching, let us know. <laughs> I love us, but on my days off, I'm sorry, guys, I don't tune in. Just same, same. <laughs> well, trending now this morning, the Kansas State Fair is a celebration of a lot of things. And this morning, take a look at this massive butter sculpture. They have named her Mamie the Mamie. Bison. Uh, it took about, it took a long time, as you could imagine, to carve this thing. Uh, out of 800 pounds of butter. Oh. Uh, the glass display case is refrigerated so the butter doesn't melt. Uh, and you know, they're gonna save all this butter. None of it goes to waste. They actually just put it in a freezer and then use it again next year. So I wonder, do they just keep using it year after yeah, year? I wonder year. how old this butter is. <laughs> so I'm not gonna put that on my toast. Yeah, maybe not. Uh, but that's cool, that's impressive. I've never seen something, uh, I guess, that big and detailed uh, carved out of butter before. It's cool to see all the traditions each state fair has, because there's something different everywhere. I know, I love it, what makes, makes those state fairs so unique. They all have a draw like that. Not quite the cream puffs here in Wisconsin, but. <sighs> but what is? I feel like every <laughs> state fair really has something to do with butter or fried or cheese. Sure, yeah, I mean, that's, that's not a state fair. If that's you're what makes things. a state fair. <laughs> something Honestly. not healthy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Stuff on a stick. <laughs> I love those uh, the stuff stuff the the too. I wouldn't eat half the things. I was like, well, I don't know. It's kind of hot. Now, that just seems like it's just going to sit heavy, and it's really hot. <laughs> and I don't want to. Yeah, I couldn't do it. Yeah, but we're not quite done with the high temperatures yet. You've got a couple of warm days in the yeah, forecast. Yeah, still tracking some heat out there, but for now we're also tracking the bus stop forecast. A comfortable day today. Temperatures warm up to about 73 this afternoon. we got three things to know coming up after the break. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Tiffany's daughter was struck in a hit and run accident. We only had one opportunity to get this right. She called Hupie and Abraham. Hupie and Abraham knows how to get what your family definitely deserves. And they really do mean business. Stoughton Health has three convenient urgent care locations for the care you need without the wait. We have clinics in Oregon, Stoughton, and McFarland with extended hours to fit your schedule. Stoughton Health, creating excellence together. The light at the end of the tunnel isn't shining so brightly for everyone. Families continue to fight for survival. Some jobs are gone forever. Bills pile up. But please know, you have not been forgotten. Your local Wisconsin energy and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your heat and power on. Apply now for a hand up. Everything is relative. Travel, for example. A trip to Stoughton might seem like a long way. But if you're shopping for diamonds, it's closer than you think. Diamond Select. Importers of shimmering diamonds from the mines of South Africa to the streets of Antwerp and Tel Aviv. They shop the diamond capitals of the world so you don't have to. Diamond Select. Direct pricing saves you money. The GIA certified South African diamonds. Diamond Select. Downtown Stoughton. Madison Magazine's Fall Restaurant Week 2021 is here. Participating restaurants will provide a three-course lunch starting at $15 and a three-course dinner starting at $25, featuring wine and more. Don't miss Madison Magazine's Fall Restaurant Week 2021, starting September 19th through the 24th. For participating restaurant menus and details, visit madisonrestaurantweek.com. Presenting sponsor, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund. Supporting sponsor, Ian J. Gallo Winery. This is This is Iowa. We just haven't been properly introduced. Say hello to the place where rolling hills meet slow bills, where our fields inside and out are always growing and where the fun is just getting started. This is Iowa. So, when are you coming to see us? 
Health has three convenient urgent care locations for the care you need without the wait. We have clinics in Oregon, Stoughton, and McFarland with extended hours to fit your schedule. Stoughton Health, creating excellence together. If you've been injured in an accident, don't take on the insurance company alone. Put resources and experience on your side. Call 800-800-5678. Hupie and Abraham, right now. Right now, officials are sharing more on how refugees are being vetted when they arrive. And as you head out the door this morning, we're going to have three things you need to know as you plan out your weekend. Plus, why it's not always a good idea to post your back-to-school pictures of your kids on social media. This is News 3 Now this morning on a Wednesday morning. It is September 15th. Thanks for joining us. I'm Josh Breider. And I'm Chris Stanford. Leah Linscheid is off, uh, about to get married on Saturday. Countdown's on. I know, so she'll be back with us uh, in... A week and a half on that Monday. This morning, the Fitchburg Police and Fire Commission will make a hiring recommendation on its next police chief. Two finalists are in the final steps of the hiring process, which consists of one last follow-up interview. Taylor Lazenby is here in studio with how the commission could make that hiring decision. Good morning, Taylor. Hi, guys. Good morning. That's right. The former Milwaukee police chief, Alfonso Morales, is one of the two finalists for the Fitchburg Police Department police chief job. Also, also a Vic Sevenick. He's a captain with the Salt Lake City, Utah Police Department. He's also a finalist in that police chief service. Right now, the Fitchburg Police and Fire Commission say both candidates will participate in one last follow-up interview before someone is chosen for the job. Now, during the last interview, candidates addressed questions about how they would respond to burglaries and stolen cars in the Fitchburg area, along with how they would best build trust within their communities. The former Fitchburg Police Chief Chad Brecklin has been promoted to city administrator. We will update you tomorrow morning about the who the commission picked. All right, Taylor Lasby, thank you. Within the last year, we've seen a lot of change in local police department leadership. In Madison, Sean Barnes took over as chief in February, and then uh, he obviously replaced uh, Vic Wall, who was acting chief before Mike Koval retired in 2019. So there's been a lot of turnover in Madison police. And in April, the city of Beloit hired new police chief Andre Sales. He replaced former chief David Zavolsky. And finally, the Monona Police Department got a new chief in June. Brian Cheney Austin replaced former chief Walter Ostranga. The Biden administration has halted flights with Afghan refugees. It comes after the Pentagon confirmed another case of measles among those who previously traveled to the U.S. after fleeing the Taliban in Afghanistan. It brings the total case count to six. One of those cases is at Fort McCoy. The person was placed in isolation. Others who were potentially exposed were quarantined and given a measles vaccine. Fort McCoy officials are sharing what the vetting process of refugees looks like. This is new video out of Fort McCoy where refugees are completing medical screening and other medical services. Along with the measles vaccine, all arriving refugees are also offered a COVID-19 vaccine. The refugees are currently at eight bases in the United States. When we learn more about what will happen to those with measles, we'll push it through our mobile app. You can download it today for free in your app store. To our coronavirus coverage now, Madison Public Schools are experiencing a jump in cases and quarantines. We reported yesterday the district had 45 active cases. This morning, there were 83 cases. Close contacts and quarantine jumped two from more than 100 to more than 400. More than 140 of those quarantines were at West High School. I talked with district officials this week who insist there's no evidence of transmission in schools. They said cases in the classroom reflect the community as a whole. Now those students in quarantine are all pivoting now to virtual learning. In order for them to return to the classroom, they'll need a negative test in six or seven days, or they can return after 10 days without a test and no symptoms. COVID has now impacted 33 of the district's 50 schools. Less than a week ago, it was only in two classrooms. All four U.S. military branches have now set deadlines for COVID vaccinations. Army officials say in a statement, all active duty members must be vaccinated by December 15th. National Guard soldiers have until June of next year. The Navy and Marine Corps have until November 28th. And the deadline for the Air Force is November 2nd. The four people found dead in an abandoned SUV in Dunn County over the weekend have been identified. Police say all four victims who were shot to death were from Minnesota. Three of the victims lived in St. Paul. A woman lived in Stillwater. One of the victim's fathers told reporters that the four were friends and left a bar together on Saturday in someone else's car. 
Police are still investigating a potential second black SUV involved. 634 right now. We turn to your certified most accurate forecast in Madison. Chris Reese tracking the three things to know for our Wednesday. Hi, Chris. Hey, we've got a quiet couple of days in store right now, but we could be storming into the weekend. We also have a temperature uh, increase on the way where we're going to be near 90 by the time we get you towards parts of the weekend and into early next week as well. Here's what we're watching right now. High pressures in control. I always say it when you see the blue H, think blue skies. It's exactly what we're going to see as we go through today and into tomorrow as well. In fact, by this afternoon, that area of high pressure is going to be sitting right on top of us. In the meantime, that front's keeping all of the moisture well to our south. So that's good news for us as you head out the door this morning. Look for the clear skies. Temperatures are comfortable too. In fact, we're waking up at 52 degrees right now. Dew points are into the lower 50s. We're at 49 in Watertown. The Dell's coming in at 47, 54 in Mineral Point. And also, the Dell's just dropped to 46 degrees, 45 for our friends at Camp if you're waking up in Rock County, temperatures are pretty much into the low and mid 50s for us. We put this into motion. Notice how winds are a little variable as we start to move towards this afternoon. This is when that area of high pressure sits right on top of us. We're going to be right around 75 degrees for your afternoon high. As that area of high pressure slides towards our east, winds are clockwise. That means we start to get a southerly wind flow as we move overnight and into tomorrow. Folks, that's going to start to warm things up. Starting out in the 50s. By the time we get towards about 4:30 in the afternoon, temperatures are going to be into the lower 80s tomorrow. We'll see a little bit of an increase in humidity, not a ton, but a little bit, and that's going to be ahead of the rain chances that I'm tracking into Friday. Here's that cold front right on top of us Friday night. This means we're talking rain chances that could impact a lot of your plans on Friday night, whether that's high school football, whether it's just any other opportunity that you have going on on Friday night. We have to time that front closely. That'll clear out by Saturday. Temperatures will be comfortable then, but we are hot on Sunday and Monday. Three degrees away from 90 by the time we start early next week, but fall officially begins to arrive by next Wednesday. It looks like temperatures are going to suit it, but I'm going to be planning someone's day coming up soon. We're going to talk about today, what community outreach they have going on, and all that more coming up in just a bit. All right, Chris Reese, thank you. 636 right now, President Biden is once again speaking out about reducing the country's carbon emissions. He took a tour of the National Renewable Energy Campus in Denver on Tuesday. At the wind turbine factory, he spoke about his goals to have the United States reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 50% in the next nine years. The president also hoping that 100% of power will be carbon pollution free by 2035. We can do all of this in a way that creates good jobs, lowers cost to consumers and businesses, and makes us global leaders in an entirely new industry. President Biden says extreme weather caused by climate change is going to cost the U.S. more than $100 billion this year alone. After a year delay, the countdown to the Ryder Cup is finally days away. In just over a week, the golf world will have its eye on Whistling Straits in Sheboygan County. Wind always blowing there. This is the grounds yesterday as they prepared for the world stage next Friday. Certainly a lot of work going on as we hear in the background, but we'll be ready. In this week's preparations, nearly 500 tents are already set up on location. That includes some double-decker corporate suite tents. The tournament is sold out. It'll bring more than 40,000 fans a day to the course. I bet you that's quite the experience. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, going to a tournament at Whistling Straits is, is uh, something else. They always uh, seem to land some pretty big ones. Yeah, I think the people watching would be really fun there just to see all, all walks of life, right? Yeah, always. Uh, but there, is, there are, uh, I don't know, I'm biased uh, because I love this course, but there are few in the country that beat just the, the beauty and uh, how magnificent this course is. I think I would lose a lot of balls there. <laughs> I, I would definitely pack a, uh, a couple of cases. <laughs> All right, looking outside this morning, the sun is up. Here we are a little cool out there. We're going to keep looking at that weekend forecast when we come back. And if you took those back to school pics of your kids, we'll tell you why you shouldn't post them online and if you might want to delete them. That's when we come back. Steakhouse, Southern Wisconsin's premier supper club. You can still enjoy our award-winning steak dinners with our new takeout and delivery service. We call it the High Point Steakout. Call in your order today. 
When you run with Sloan's on a John Deere 1025R, you can feel the power. Get your John Deere 1025R for just $171 per month. Get a John Deere now and power up at Sloan's. Visit Sloan Implement today, celebrating 90 years and going strong. A fabulous floor starts now with this fabulous sale. Save up to 500 bucks on carpet, hardwood, and luxury vinyl plank, plus 12 months special financing. Our flooring is kid-friendly, pet-friendly, and designed for living. I'm Brent Ziegler, owner of H&R Carpets and Flooring in Wanakee. Come see us. From your fingertips to your lips, get Culligan drinking water. With connected technology, smart aqua essential drinking water systems, know your filtered contaminants and water usage. It even contacts your local dealer when the filters need changing. Contact Culligan Water, the local water experts. McGann Furniture in downtown Baraboo should probably be called McGann Furniture and Flooring because we're the area's oldest and most experienced floor covering store. Our friendly staff will explain the many types of flooring available, answer questions, and make suggestions so you can choose what's best for your home and lifestyle. We always offer free in-home measurements and estimates and use the finest installers in the entire area. And remember, at McGann's, we don't inflate prices only to mark them down for a sale. Stop in today and discover the difference. You'll be glad you did. McGann Furniture, downtown Baraboo. In one instant, an accident can change your life. Gingrass, Thompson & Walks has assembled the top personal injury lawyers in Wisconsin to fight for victims' rights. If you've been injured in an accident, contact Gingrass, Thompson & Walks for a free consultation. When you run with Sloan's on a John Deere 1025R, you can feel the power. Get your John Deere 1025R for just $171 per month. Get a John Deere now and power up at Sloan's. Visit Sloan Implement today, celebrating 90 years and going strong. High Point Steakhouse, Southern Wisconsin's premier supper club. You can still enjoy our award-winning steak dinners with our new takeout delivery service. We call it the High Point Steakout. Call in your order today. For families who have lost loved ones to COVID-19, Susan Simon reveals how a federal program can help with funeral costs. He was a wonderful man. And how the family of a beloved school superintendent is benefiting. Thursday on News 3 Now at 10. When the Boys and Girls Club of Dane County launched their back-to-school supplies drive, News 3 Now wanted to help and took action right away. And you responded. Thank you for your generosity. News 3 Now, taking action where our community needs it most. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for Overall Excellence in Television. We are Edward High School! Wednesday is our annual Edgewood in the Community Service Day. Hey, Chris, plan our day! Well, look at that. The schools are coming on in Edgewood High School. It is their 22nd annual Edgewood High School in the Community Day. They're going to be all around Dane County. Look for those maroon shirts as they do some community service today. The sun coming up on what should be a great day for you guys at Edgewood High School. Look for temperatures topping out at 75. The humidity stays low for us as well as you're out and about. And since you're going to be around Dane County, here's the focus on Doppler track this morning. Doesn't matter where you are. Sun Prairie, Cottage Grove, or Stoughton, whether you're on the north side in Wanakee, south towards Belleville, or west in Mount Horeb, you're dry this morning. All of southern Wisconsin is going to be dry for us this morning, and we're dry as we go through the next couple of days. In fact, the rain chances that I'm watching really come our direction Friday and into Friday night. I'm also watching some other rain chances already into early next week, Tuesday into Tuesday night, perhaps into Wednesday. Edgewood High School did a fantastic job, so here's my call to all the school groups out there. Send in your video. Let's plan the day for whatever your school's doing, or maybe you just want to showcase your classroom and your students. Send it in. We'll plan those days right here on News 3 Now this morning. That was so great. That was, that cool. was really good. The, I was impressed. Good job, Edgewood High School. So now it's, it's time for the other high schools to step up. I'm, I'm a little competitive with that one, but <laughs> let's see how it goes. Five stars out of five right yeah. there. Thanks, Chris. There is a new warning this morning for parents and students. Officials at Madison's Jefferson Middle School say a new trend on social media, TikTok, could lead to some serious consequences. Yeah, that trend has students stealing something from their school and posting it on the video sharing app. Officials at Jefferson Middle School say they are already seeing it happen at their school. They've made a list of items taken and are reviewing their cameras to find the students. Officials are warning students destroying and stealing property is a crime. Uh, keeping on the school's topic, 
It's a tradition now for parents to post a picture of their kid on social media and they're holding a board of information to mark the new school year. Yeah, but police across the country are now warning parents to take them down. Christina Lori explains why Madison officers are joining them. One of the things we always tell kids is don't give out any personal information on social media because you never know who your audience is. And now many parents are doing it. We know parents don't mean I mean, who doesn't want to share a picture of a cute second grader on their first day of school? These are the pictures in question, the seemingly innocent posts of kids holding those back to school signs that you see all over social media. But it's not the images that are the problem, it's the information. Detective Sergeant Julie Johnson is in her 24th year with MPD and leads the department that takes on all kid cases in the city of Madison. We see a lot of things that can happen, including a growing number of cyber crimes. We're not saying never Never put pictures of your kids on Facebook and never share with your friends. There's just some things to remember about online safety. According to Sergeant Johnson, parents should avoid sharing the following. Where your child goes to school, their age, grade level, height and weight, and their teacher's name. We just don't know who's using this information for purposes other than your attending. Not only can criminals use this information to figure out your passwords, they can also use it to steal your son or daughter's identity, something you might not find out until they apply for credit years later. Just be careful about what they're posting as far as information that would allow someone to identify and track your child. Now you may be saying to yourself, hey, this is great information, but where was it weeks ago when I first posted it? Well, Sergeant Johnson says it's still not too late. She recommends you take down that post and in the future, maybe just ditch the signs and share your children's smiles instead. Reporting from downtown Madison, for News 3 Now, I'm Christina Laurie. You can find all of our back to school coverage at channel3000.com or by downloading our app it's free wherever you get yours. We're still more than a week away from the official start of fall, but it may be time to look ahead to the holiday season. Like dozens of other items, Christmas trees are on the list of shortages throughout the pandemic. Oh boy, yeah. Farm owners in northern Wisconsin say the single choose and cut trees won't be hard to get your hands on, but those looking for wholesale purchases may have a problem. Last year, the early start to the season forced many wholesale buyers to scramble. People wanting to start earlier, we saw that last year trees were selling more quickly. Um, and, and uh, we've experienced a, a, a big demand for trees. Unlike any other years, I can't remember um, a year where we've had so many calls from wholesalers uh, wanting to buy trees from us. Christmas trees are planted many years in advance, so experts say that factor also contributes to the shortage. I can't remember, are you a real tree kind of family? I'm a real tree, yeah, we always get a real tree, always. I'm usually the fake just because it's easier kind of in that apartment life uh -huh. sometimes, but yeah, I yeah. think a lot of people will Man, it's yeah. How many things are we gonna run out of? Everything. There's Everything. A shortage. There's a shortage of everything. You're right. I just, you know, to be talking about it this early in the season, you know, it's gonna be a problem. So. Hey, six weeks until the sp uh, the tree is up in the Sprider household, though. So <laughs> six weeks. November first, Chris. It's still September, right? I know. <laughs> right after Halloween. <laughs> Man. All right, six forty-seven now. Hey, how does a picnic on the water sound? No boat. No problem. Take a look at this. A man in Maine is now selling motorized floating picnic tables. So Lon here, he doesn't claim to be the first person to think of this, but uh, he has sold 16 of these. He's applied for a patent and he's working on getting the tables registered as a watercraft. Starting price is 2,800 bucks. 2800 bucks might be a little steep. I mean, it looks like he took a, just a regular picnic table. Yep. Nice umbrella there, some cup holders, and he just, uh, you know, slapped some storage crates <laughs> to the bottom of it. And he, there is a little trolling motor, too. So I could see he made 2800 bucks. Yeah, I guess. The price of boats these days. Well, that, too. Holy especially cow. now, another thing that the pandemic impacted. Oh, is that right? Yeah, boat sales are increasing a lot. Through the roof, huh? Yeah. All right. Interesting. I'd try it out. I think I'd I would, a too. Nice little picnic nice on the water. Dinner cruise. As long as it's not wavy. Lake Mendota might be a no-go, but <laughs> that maybe Monona Bay. Yeah, that could get uh, a little dicey. <laughs> All right. Coming up in the morning sprint, getting college students vaccinated, the incentive one local college is offering up. But first, if you have a little kid turning three soon, please let us know so we can show their picture on TV. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. We're back in a moment. Look Who's 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin.
The Fall Semi-Annual Sale and Sweepstakes is on now at Ashley Home Store. Shop brand new fall furniture styles at huge discounts, up to 60% off. Then get your scratch-off card in store for your chance at specials and bonus deals. You could even win the $5,000 grand prize. Only at Ashley Home Store. At Star Inn Bank, we think having choices is important. So you can choose the products that are right for your life. What are you waiting for? Explore the possibilities today at StarInBank.com. Here's today's hot and perfect tip. Run in place at all times. Don't follow extreme routines. Do your own thing at Planet Fitness. Now through September 16th, join for just $1 down, $10 a month, and cancel anytime. With tons of equipment and free fitness training in our clean and spacious clubs. Don't miss out. Join today for just $1 down, $10 a month, cancel anytime. Hurry, deal ends September 16th. Five Madison area locations. Stop in today. from GM Financial and $1,750 cash allowance on Silverado 1500 Crew Cab pickups. Plus, now during Truck Month, get a $1,000 accessory allowance towards the purchase of eligible accessories. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. It's only paint. It's only paint that comes in an award-winning twist and pour container. It's only paint that can cover the brightest shade of orange known to mankind in just one coat. It's only paint that will help you become TV's hottest writer, where one day you'll meet this guy who starred in that thing. So yeah, it's only paint. Only easy opening, smooth pouring, change your life both professionally and romantically. Paint. Right now at Menards, get 11% off everything, including Dutch Boy Paint. Today's the day to go farther with a partner that provides you innovative solutions for your own personal financial future. Explore the possibilities today at StarInBank.com. Huge mattress savings are happening now during the fall semi-annual sale and sweepstakes at Ashley Home Store. Save up to 65% off. Pay as little as $20 per month on top brands with six years no interest financing, plus $300 in free furniture. Only at Ashley Home Store. Clinky Cleaners, now offering free pickup and delivery. It is 6.52, time for the morning sprint. Blackhawk Technical College in Janesville is introducing a new vaccine incentive program for the fall semester. The college says any current student who shows proof of full vaccination status by October 1st will receive 250 bucks. Students and transcripted credit classes are not eligible for the program, though. Blackhawk Technical College is not requiring vaccinations for students or employees. It's bike week in Madison. The mayor kicking things off by taking a little stroll around the Capitol yesterday. Tonight, Dream Bikes in Forward Madison are hosting a happy hour at Logic Everyday Kitchen. Events run through Sunday. You can find more information at channel3000.com. The Fitchburg Police and Fire Commission will make a hiring recommendation later on today for its next police chief. Right now it's between two finalists. The former Milwaukee Police Chief Alfonso Morales is one of two finalists for the Fitchburg Police Department police chief job. Also Vic Sevenick, a captain with the Salt Lake City, Utah Police Department. Comedian and actor Norm MacDonald has died after a private years-long battle with cancer. Best known for his run on Saturday Night Live, MacDonald died yesterday after nearly 10 years with cancer. He appeared in countless TV shows and movies, often with his fellow SNL alums, including Billy Madison with Adam Sandler and The Animal with Rob Schneider. Norm MacDonald was 61 years old. The family of a teenager stabbed by two classmates to please a fictional horror character say that they're worried one of the girls will soon be released from a mental health facility. Friday, a court ruled that Anissa Wire would go live with her father as long as she wore a GPS monitor and continued to receive psychi psychiatric help. She and Morgan Geyser are accused of stabbing Peyton Lutner in 2014. All three girls were 12 at the time. 
Gavin Newsom is still the governor of California this morning. CBS News projecting he has survived the recall election. Exit polls and early voting numbers show the recall was rejected by a near two to one margin. Newsom will still have to run for re-election next year. Broadway is back in New York City. Four big shows opened up last night at full capacity, including The Lion King and Hamilton. Ticket holders have to prove that they are vaccinated. Masks are required. Broadway supports almost 100,000 local jobs. This morning, a new report says the U.S. spent nearly $6 billion treating unvaccinated people in hospitals over the last three months. An analysis from the Kaiser Family Foundation estimates the average cost of a preventable COVID hospitalization is about $20,000. From June to August, 287,000 unvaccinated adults were hospitalized for the virus. The foundation says these figures are likely underestimated. Dozens of indigenous tribes asking the Biden administration this morning to enact immediate protections for wolves. They say states have become too aggressive in hunting the animal. The letter doesn't name specific states, but a spokesperson for the group noted Wisconsin's hunt went 100 wolves over the quota last spring. The United Nation in Wisconsin was an affiliated tribe in the letter. The FBI, FBI rather, has hired, fired an agent who they say failed to properly investigate former USA gymnastics doctor Larry Nasser. The Washington reports, Washington Post reports, Michael Langman lost his job. He was a supervisor in Indianapolis who interviewed a Nasser accuser in 2015. His termination comes as four gymnasts are set to testify before a Senate committee about the FBI's investigation of Nasser. The Post says Langman made false statements and improperly documented complaints against Nasser. The Justice Department has asked a federal judge to issue a temporary restraining order in blocking enforcement of the controversial Texas abortion law. The law bans abortions after six weeks. The legal brief comes after the Biden administration filed suit last week saying the law is in open defiance of the U.S. Constitution. The Supreme Court allowed the Texas law to remain in effect earlier this month in response to a separate legal challenge. Headed out the door this morning. Temperatures are into the 50s. We're going to keep that sunshine around all day, warming up to about 75. We are dry now. We're going to be dry for the next couple of days thanks to high pressure that's in control. But as that slides over towards the east, it leads to more moisture moving in out of the south and eventually our next rain chance. That's as a cold front comes our way Friday afternoon and evening. So if you have Friday, plans on the horizon. Now's the time to start developing your game plan. Start figuring out what you're going to do just in case rain begins to impact that, especially as we move towards Friday night. Beyond that, we are warming up close to 90 starting next week. Thank you, Chris. Make it a great day, everyone.